I saw a friend of mine, very good pianist, she would learned for years and she was playing a Beethoven piano sonata and I just had one of those eureka moments that people speak about and I had one, you know, I was like, oh my god, that's what I want to do. I want to become a concert pianist, completely ignoring the fact that I only had one hand. My parents, a couple of months later, did get me a piano teacher because I was like, oh, he's getting quite good. <laughs> so the next minute I, I got, you know, given this, this piano teacher piano lessons once, once a week. I was determined to kind of show people that, you know, I didn't want to just be that, oh, poor him with one, you know, I just wanted to do. So there's me riding one-handed very early on on my bike and things where all the other kids were still using their kind of training wheels and stuff. So that kind of, I think they instilled in me that determination to kind of show people not to feel sorry for me and, and you know. It turns out that there's this huge wealth of repertoire that was written specifically for the left hand alone, yet sounds like two or three hands at the, at the piano. And by big composers like Ravel and Prokofiev and Benjamin Britten and Richard Strauss and all these big names of the 20th century, um, they all composed left-hand works and big substantial left-hand works, as well as countless solo pieces. Um, so I started to research that and found this whole lifetime's worth of, of material waiting there for me. Classical music industry is a tough industry. Well, any any industry in the, in the music industry, it's a tough industry. Um, the classical music industry is relatively small, and it's I'm the only one. I'm the only one-handed professional pianist who's playing all my repertoire and regularly giving concerts all around the world, just doing left-hand alone repertoire. I'm proud that I'm the only one in the world to actually have made a career of this. And if that has to come with a tagline, you know, about the fact that I only have one hand, then so be it. You know, it, it, is a, it is a slight curiosity factor, I get that. But a lot of people who come to my concerts, and a lot of my fans are very honest, and they've said, oh, we, we've only come to your concert because we saw you on a TV programme. And now we've come, you know, we love it, we'll see you next time. My motto, anything is possible, and I so believe that you know, yes, I, I must have had something special with the piano to have picked it up that quickly from 14. But at the same time, I do believe that for me, who's brought up in a small village in England, you know, outside of London, to then be here recording my album and with a major label and things like that, it just doesn't happen that often. And so I do wholeheartedly believe anything is possible with hard work and determination. And that's what, you know, that's what I had to do. I would say usually I do completely lose myself and lose myself in the music. And it's not, I'm not thinking about the music, I'm just kind of getting swept up in it. You know, it's, it's, you can't, I can't even, it's like a dream when you can't remember the dream. You know, when you wake up in the morning, you can't, you know you've dreamt something, but you can't remember it. That's a bit what it's like when you walk on stage and feel like you've been on stage for three seconds.